Normal distribution crash course. Woohoo! Here we go. Okay, so uh, normal distribution is a curve that describes an evenly distributed probability set. And there's some really specific values if that something's nicely uh, distributed, normally distributed. And that's uh, between, this is the mean, right? Mean. Um, between the mean and the first standard deviation, there's about 34% that should lie in there if the data is distributed normally, right? And after that, between the first and second standard deviation, there's about 14, and then about two, and then just a little bit, right? And same on both sides. Um, you can memorize these numbers. Uh, but that's not what humans are good at. We're good at manipulating the numbers. Your calculator remembers them. But we can sort of use them uh, just to, I mean, I want to do one problem where you just kind of sort of visualize it, and I think it'll help the number crunching aspect. So here's an example. Uh, uh, Trebuchet is launching flaming pumpkins into the distance, and the flights are recorded with uh, the distance of the mean as 80 meters and a standard deviation of 15 meters. Okay, so if you were thinking about it in terms of this, get our flaming pumpkins out of here, some room to, to breathe, we can visualize the average as 80, 80, and at the standard deviation as 15. So this distance should be 15, and also this distance should be 15. Right, and also this distance should be 15, and also you get the point. Right, each of these is 15 units away from each other. So, um, so if you think about it, the mean is 80, 15 down from that is 65, right, and 15 down from that, and 15 up from that, and 15 up from that. Um, so this would be what 95. This would be 110, etc. Right. Um, so, what's the percentage of the pumpkins that travel less than 65 meters? Well, less than 65 meters would be all of this. So, just with what we know about these, um, I know that there would be this many, and this many, and oh, this many that didn't make it past 65. So you'd say, all right, point, point 0.13 plus 2.15 plus 13 point, uh, get your head out of the way, G, point, uh, 0.59, right? And you get somewhere around, this is almost 14, 15, 16, someplace around 16, so 16%, right? Um, great, fine. What percentage of pumpkin, pumpkins traveled more than 110? Well, what, more than 110 is from here up. I thought we could do it in red. Um, so it's only this and this. So like 2.2, 2.5, great. Um, you just added those up. And then what percentage of pumpkins traveled between 65 and 80 meters? Let's use a more distinct color between 65 and 80 meters, uh, well, here, so 34%. Well, that may help you visualize. Um, you definitely don't need to me memorize those numbers, uh, but you might use them enough that you will. Um, you can find these using your tech, and there's three that we're generally interested in. Normal PDF, normal CDF, and inverse normal. And really, it's just the CDF and the inverse normal that we you see a lot of. The PDF is a little more rare, um, but I think this is a good thing to sketch down if you uh, have a second, because it gives you an idea of what it, each one does. Um, normal CDF finds you the probability between two values, right? Um, <laughs> So, you know, what percentage of students scored between these two values on a test? The inverse normal gives you the probability, um, the x value given the probability. So he said he scored uh, this percentile, what's his regular score, right? 
and normal PDF gives you a, an exact value. It's like CDF, but it does, it's not a range. It gives you an exact value for um, a, a, a Y value given an X value. So let me show you how to run those on your calculator. They all go through the same thing, which is second uh, distribution, a, a distribution curve. Right? So this guy, it's above vars. So second vars. And the first one we're going to look at is a normal PDF. Here's a, an example, right? The leg, uh, leg length of, of lemurs are found to have this mean and this standard deviation. What's the probability uh, that we'll have a leg of exactly uh, 12? Exactly. Whenever you see this, ide this idea of exactly, I think about this meaning precise or per exactly precisely, right? And that makes me think of PDF. Um, that's how I kind of keep straight PDF and CDF. So you just type type in, you'd say normal PDF. It says X value, you'd say 12. Uh, the mean is 18 and the standard deviation is seven. You say go, depending on your um, your calculator model, I got on mine a 0 0.039, which is 4%. Cool. Uh, PDF, precise. CDF is uh, a between, maybe collectively, I don't know, the leg length of lemurs are found to have a mean of this and standard deviation of that. What's the probability that they will betwe be between these ranges? And you do the same thing, you just use CDF, you use your lower range and your upper range, your uh, mean and your standard deviation. So it's in the same place, distribution, CDF, lower range. It might say, like mine right now says, all right, negative one e to the 99. That means it's going down to infinity. And you can do the same and say your upper limit up to infinity. So if you wanted to, right now, if you wanted to know from here down, you just use a really small number for this because you can't always say zero, right? Or if you want to say from here up, you just use a really big number. So negative one times 10 to the 99 is a small number. Um, so replace that. So this would be 11, 25, 18, and 7. And then you say go. I got uh, 80, 6, 0.682, yada, yada, yada. So that's where that comes from. Cool. Uh, CDF. Inverse normal goes backwards. Right? It's, it, it means if you're um, looking, if you have the area, you know the probability, it gives you the x. Rather than these, they give you the probability Right? These say, what's the probability? If you know the axes, it'll give you the probability. Here, you have to know the probability, the area, and it gives you the x. So leg length of the lemurs are found to have a mean of this and a standard deviation of that. The smallest 30% of lemurs have shorter legs than what length? An inverse normal always gives you the area to the left of a specific site. Right? And that's like, that's not uh, necessarily intuitive, but uh, it's always like to the left of the site that it gives you. So let's, uh, let's try that out. Um, I know uh, Rich, right in the same spot, second distribution, um, go to inverse normal, and it'll say the area. Well, the area is the probability, so 30%, but 0.3, right? Um, the, the mean is 18, and the standard deviation is seven, right? So it looks like that. You say paste, it says that. I should have my other guy up. And you hit enter, and it says 14.3. And uh, what that means is that 14.3 is the upper threshold where this is true, that this is 30%, this area is 30% of all the curve, yeah. So inverse normal. You're giving you're giving your calculated area, and it's finding you x. All right. So here's a um, a problem from the text. Um, there's rugby players normally distributed height. Here's the mean and standard deviation. Find the probability that 
the player was at least this tall. So this is a, uh, a range, right? Um, it's a range between uh, infinity and this spot. So like if you were thinking of picturing this, well, I guess it's right here. Right? If you're picturing this one, we want at least, it means I want everybody who's taller than this. So we want all of this. Um, so we can just throw in what we have. I know 175 is the value I'm looking for, our lower limit. I put in a big number for our upper limit, 10 to the fifth, right? Because I want to go that that way almost to infinity, and there's no infinity button. So I put something really big. Um, and then you throw in your, your standard deviation. So this is your min, your max, your standard deviation, and your, uh, sorry, mean, and your standard deviation. Cool. Um, I got 0 0.76, 0 0.716 also. Cool. And then you can do the same thing for uh, between these two values. You just say I want it between upper upper and lower limits are 170 and 190, and we keep the same uh, mean and standard deviation because it's the same population of people. Cool. So that's a way to visualize them too. All right. Hope that helps.